is going to concern um, a study and a topological study referring to torite, yoroi torite, that is the usage of torite, the, the techniques of torite when the enemy is using an yoroi. We can consider um, including the case, the, the worst case, that he would be using a o yoroi or a full yoroi, a full armor. So we're, we're going to see in, uh, many angles in which one may um, um, look and think, well, maybe he could move something here, but we are counting with the fact that he is wearing a full yoroi, and so the weight over the arms, over the crossed arms, and some forms that we're going to see will make him unable to actually use any sort of weapon or movement. So I have here by my left side, Chidoshi Luiz Oliveira, by my right side, uh, Shibucho Uchideshi Carlos Santos, recently uh, just moved to Madrid, Spain, and is having, uh, he's performing a huge work there. So, this is, although this may be seen as, uh, for, as simple forms, you know, they are actually uh, quite valued in our school because they are somewhat um, a higher study um, because of all the explanations about culture. So, please, let's push Luis to the two first sentences. <laughs> His considerations and show us the first technique. For didactical purpose, I will apply these techniques on a three supposition that is you know, the most common uh, or position for uh, someone carrying the armor, but it will be only for to get more easier to understand the angles and the perspectives we are going to teach right now. Then, for explanation, uh, for the explanation, it will be in this situation. Then, please, Carlos, can you? Look, look yes, yes. Please, 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 please. So we can see right now that Shibuchi is using his right foot to step on the left hand of Shibuchi Okano, so he cannot actually uh, roll back or use any kind of, of weapon here. So now we are going to see the first stage uh, of usage, or the first stage of evolution of this kind of study, that is, especially is, is using a, a rope called Hon Nawa. Uh, this, this rope could be anything, it is not uh, a specific uh, type of rope, it could be, for example, a sadio or something. Uh, and it does not have, uh, if you study Hojujutsu, uh, you'll see that uh, this kind of movement has nothing to do with the parameters of the later Hojojutsu. So uh, these are easy and simple mo um, movements which would aim to be effective under these conditions. So I'll ask now uh, to Shibucho Carlos to stretch his arms or to, I don't know, try to roll. And it's not easy and he's not even uh, wearing the, any kind of yoroi. So you can imagine how, how this would go. So now uh, Shushubis will, will continue showing us some other forms, some um, next usage of rope in this case. In this, <coughs> in this case, uh, the most common thing, it would be applied on uh, no jujutsu, that is the application with two ropes. In this case, I only have one. Then it won't be correct what I am doing, but it will be only to teach uh, here what will be the use, then I will take the tip of the other rope and I will cross and this way I will pass one, two and three and at the end I will cross here and I will have the knot here on this side from this I will rip one cross to this side this will reach this tip. Very, very nice. So, just is showing us how to restrain um, his his feet right now. The usage for this in ancient times would be to or to um, bind him to arrest him using a, a tree, the trunk of a tree or something. He could also lop it and over uh, some 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 uh, some tree even. 
and then uh, leaving him, hanging there. Or he could also, in other cases, um, uh, bind this, you know, tie this, this uh, extra rope, this loose tip uh, to the back of a horse, to a horse, and then, you know, uh, this kind of um, situation would cause fear, would cause panic sometimes. So, this was the first usage of this kind of study that was employing a rope. However, they, they saw, we did, we did spend many hours today studying this, uh, Shizen people, they, they saw that they could use jo or tumble to, to cause some extra pressures and um, they could develop more these, these techniques using tambo or jo. And later on, on this next stage, on this last stage actually, they saw that they could use the GK for the same purposes. So, please, first of all, how would be the, the usage of today, this kind of, of technique? So you can see the same technique, the same the same case that we had just right now, but now he is employing a GT. The same angles of weight, the weight over his arms. I will just uh, assist Toshikoshi here by protecting uh, Shibujo's face. Okay. And then pressing downward. He's doing slowly, but this uh, done violently could actually um, cause some injury to, to his foot. And in the end of the day, keep him locked. Very nice. Now, let's see some other examples of these techniques. So we have a double crossed uh, arms here and the, the, the GP bracing actually blocking both arms. Exactly. So he's in a, in a very frail position. And now if, if Joshua Mewes can show us some forearms in which the arms you know, are, are close to his back. shoulders in a, a tough position there. He's doing it loose, of course. Here we have it. So we're using the, his own weight. Of course, we have to remember one more time that he would be wearing a yoroi there. So he can, he's actually locked. You know, his shoulder here, the back of his shoulder is locking his, uh, his, his whole body there. And they could move on then to other ways of locking them and so on. Very nice. So, uh, this, the study that we have just seen was the usage of polite for yoroi conditions, that is, he would be wearing an yoroi. It is, these are not uh, complicated forms, these are actually easy forms, although there are many details which will make these forms correct. And for us, this is, this is mainly an anthropological perspective and study. So thank you very much.